We're looking at um, uh, a, a, a recent acquisition. On the whole, um, art galleries and museums acquire their best things from gifts from collectors. Um, this is a, a work which I'm very pleased to say we bought um, about 10 years ago, and it's going to feature in our next exhibition, which is called in, in the Hunterian Art Gallery, which is called the German Revolution. So it's a, it's it's not a it's not a which is about art from the German-speaking world. This is, in fact, a painting by um, uh, a woman who was born in Vienna in 1906, um, and she died in London in 1996. And um, as well as being a, 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 a woman artist, um, it's perhaps topical to say in relation to recent news and world events that she was a, a refugee. Um, she was one of um, many highly cultivated Jews who came to the UK. Britain's cultural life benefited a great deal from people who were displaced by, um, by events in, political events in Germany and Austria in, in the 1930s. So in, in 1938, um, Austria, where she lived, um, she grew up in the city of Vienna, Austria was invaded by uh, the Nazis um, and taken over and uh, joined to the German Reich. Um, and um, she left the following day. She was, um, she came from a, a from a, a well-off family. They were organised enough, and they had they had the money to get up and leave while while it was still possible to do so. And she later had her early paintings sent on. Um, this is um, it's got a signature, and it's dated 1926. Um, so she, this is the work of a, a, a young, a very young woman. Um, still a student. Um, she was only 20 years old when she painted this. Um, and um, what kind of a what kind of a painting is it? Because it's 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 an oil painting. She painted in oil. She um, she did make um, some preparatory drawings when she was working on paintings. But is it a what, what sort of category of work of art is it? Is it a it's a portrait um, of what kind of a person? <laughs> Of a, not a, not of herself, <laughs> but of a, but of an old woman. Um, in fact, we know who. The, um, the, <laughs> you might have thought. So, yeah. So, right. If you want to, if you want da da da, but the police, what code would you put in then? Yes. After that, they're doing the phone signs. Hey, can we do the phone signs? Yeah. What's and so I can get into that computer system and I just type in the word drum chapel, because that's where your school is, to see well what have we got in our stores here at Kelvin Hall which relates to drum chapel and I've just picked out a few of the things. So these are real museum objects, they don't look that special, they're just everyday things but we need to be really really careful with them because they're... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's so, you can look at this. So, have a look at this one here. What's it for? The best of Glasgow. Some of Glasgow's hundreds and hundreds of years old. So, when we look inside it, you have a wee quick look because you might recognise whether or not your school is on this list. What primary school do you go to? What a nine school. Right, is it on that list? Come and have a look. Have a look at the list. There. But basically, Antonine Primary was, I think, quite a few schools all merged together. So basically, all these schools, don't, lots of them don't exist anymore. Because at one time, Drum Chapel was massive, and there were so many children in all these primary schools. Wait, just Why is So this is a howler monkey from South America. They're um, loud. I don't like them. They're very loud, yes, and they, they hoot and their voice carries throughout the jungle, jungle I've been 
fortunate enough to hear one myself, and uh, the noise a small monkey can make is extraordinary. Uh, my name's Joseph, and I'm the curator of the Charles Rennie Macintosh collections here at the Ontario. Does anybody recognise that name? Do you know that name? Not quite. Oh, come up close, you don't have to stand a long way away. Any differences you can see? <laughs> What about the windows? That's got big windows, hasn't it? I mean, you go all the way from the top to the bottom. But if you look at this tower, it's got tiny little windows. And it's got battlements at the top where, you know, people with bows and arrows could stand. So this is a building that's very secure. It's a defensive building. But for the school, he's changed it and produced these enormous windows, which would be no good as a defensive building at all. He, pen, pen, paper, charcoal. It's on paper, pen. that's right. But what are these I'm thin black person. lines? What do you think? Pen. Pen, pen, pen and ink, pen. that's right. But look more closely and see whether there's anything else on the paper. Look up here. Sketches? Yeah. Pencil. That's right. Pencil. Why do you think that might be? Exactly. Because yeah. That's exactly it. Yeah. If you start off with a pen and ink, and then you make a blot or you smudge something, you've ruined the drawing. So you want to be sure that you're putting the lines in the right places from the beginning. So you draw it all out very carefully in pencil What's first. The brown. Oh, that's just discoloration with age, because this drawing's almost 120 years old now. So. It's not in perfect condition, although it's pretty well preserved. So yeah, you draw it in pencil first, and then you draw the lines uh, in ink Can we see over the top. Thing? Yes, let me remove that. Sorry, I was forgetting that. You answered the question so promptly that I forgot to move the piece of paper. So there it is, Scotland Street School. I thought some of you might have visited Scotland Street School, because it's a museum now. You can, you can visit it and find out what it was like to be a Victorian schoolboy or schoolgirl. And, uh, and I thought some of you might have been there. It's on the south side. No, so those the houses still there? Okay. Yeah, what's different then? What's different? The cars. The cars, the style of cars. The, the house. Shop. There's a shop. The, the type of fence. The type of fence. No, that's where the bad bar. The people. Yeah. The bar. People maybe yeah. the dress. Ah, the people yeah, that are in the suits. Yeah. yeah. They're not following. They, they don't realise anymore. Yeah, they might not be. They're very smart, aren't they? The houses are very new. I think these houses were probably built just before World War II. I think they're kind of 1930s houses, but still quite new in the 1950s. So, maybe have a wee look for this. Maybe the bus will pass it by and we'll be back to Drum Chapel. I'm not sure. Look inside it because it's got a list of all the primary schools and you can maybe see are they still there and if not, why not. So, have a wee look. Start there. Pass it around. What's it celebrating? Find out on the front. So, have you worked out in connection? Yeah. 